How's the people? Skyhawk here. I'm going to do another mod review. This one on Universal Storage. Universal Storage provides you with these cores from which you can attach wedges. The cores are in sizes 1.25, 1.85, and 2.5 meters. The wedges have many varying degrees of uh, functions, but they in the, they basically allow you to create custom service modules for your craft. The 1.25 meter uh, houses four wedges, the 2.5 meter houses eight wedges, and the 1.85 holds six. Now in the base mod, there is a radial oxygen tank, a alkaline fuel cell which produces electricity, a electron which produces fuel, a oxygen container, a water tank, you also have a hydrogen tank, a monopropellant tank, and a liquid fuel oxidizer tank. It's also closely integrated with TAC life support and has a Sabador reactor which uh, makes liquid fuel and water, a water purifier which purifies contaminated water, a carbon dioxide storage uh, set of tanks, a uh, wastewater storage uh, system, a food storage for your life support, and a solid waste storage. It's also integrated with Kerbal Attachment System. It has this cute little extended uh, EVA pack so you can stay out longer, and uh, a Kerbal Attachment System container for storing Kerbal Attachment System parts. It also, it's integrated with Demagical Orbital Science, which provides a plethora of uh, various science experiments, such as this atmospheric sensor. It also has a megamometer, and it uh, also has a goo bay. Um, these, of course, function like the regular experiments in the game. Uh, it has a pressure sensor and a thermometer, again, functioning like the ones in the game. Uh, it has this crazy science experiment that I know next to nothing about, but it looks really cool and it's really big. It has a materials bay. Uh, which functions just like the one in the game. It's a little bit smaller. Uh, it has a orbital telescope for observing the stars and pondering. Uh, it also has a solar particle collector for select collecting, of course, solar particles off of a Kerbal, um, the sun and the Kerbal system. And last but not least, it has an accelerometer slash gravioli detector. Um, for your amazing science packages and whatever. Uh, so thank you for watching this review. Um, all the links to the various mods are in the description, including the one or two that are integrated that I didn't cover. Um, and uh, of course, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. See you later, massive people.